Greetings, travelers, and welcome to Geronimo Draws. In this video, we'll be discussing Mordrin's most diabolical sorcerer, the Dark Lord, Cyphus. For those of you who have been following the Blood Realm Saga, should be familiar with this character, as he plays a pivotal role in the first miniseries, Dark Covenant. As I draw, I'll be discussing his lore, as well as what inspired the Dark Lord's overall design. So who is Lord Cyphus? Considered to be the most malevolent sorcerer to ever exist in the lands of Mordron, Lord Cyphus is a loyal disciple of Archdemon Targanus. Now little is known of Cyphus's life before he embraced the Dark, but we do know that he was human once, and was chosen, willing or not, to become a servant of the Archdemon. At the cusp of the Age of Light, the period in which the first two miniseries take place, mankind struggled to keep its grasp over Mordron. The Iron Wolves, cleric knights sworn to protect the humans from demonic forces, sought to hunt down and destroy Targanus' followers. Under the guidance of his demonic master, Cyphus channeled the Archdemon's energy and was imbued with the power to perform dark sorceries. After being tainted by his corruption, Cyphus conducted heinous rituals to incite terror in Targanus' honor. He preached in the dark corners of thriving cities, spreading fear of his master and tainting those loyal to the light. There were, of course, human cities throughout the lands of Mordron. One such example was the city of Arcos, which we visit in the second miniseries, Shadowed Kingdom. It was the capital of Vorogoth, which was governed and protected by the Iron Wolves. It was there that Cyphus preached and reinforced the power of the Dark. The people of Arcos were ultimately influenced by the Dark Lord and succumbed to the will of Targanus. After the city fell, Lord Cyphus fled to the Eyeless Canyons, where he continued his demonic work. In the outskirts of these barren wastes, he ruminated on the power of his master, and was ultimately bestowed with a dark gift. For Lord Cyphus, that gift was the power of sight. He was overcome with visions of the future, beyond the Age of Light and ages to come. What he saw filled him with new purpose, and Lord Cyphus sought to achieve the unattainable, immortality. At night, he preyed upon the defenseless children of Vorogoth, luring them to his lair, and used them as sacrifice to enrich his heart with dark energy. His cruelty was brought to an end when the Iron Wolves raided his stronghold and tore his heart from his body. The knights kept it hidden in the Tower of Penance, where it continued to beat for over a century. Legends turned to myth, and eras to come would recognize this ancient relic as the Black Heart. Leaders of warring nations sought to obtain the heart for its dark power, some claiming it could gift its possessor with godlike abilities. One such warlord was General Gorn, the self-declared leader of Satria. Blood Realm is truly a labor of love, and the design of Lord Cyphus is inspired by many things, including the horror masterpiece, The Exorcist. That white face that flashed throughout the film haunted me as a child and still terrifies me to this day. I wanted to create a character that, while demonic in appearance, is still a man which makes him that much more unnerving. Lord Cyphus is a devourer of innocence, making him, in my opinion, the truest form of Boogeyman. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have more videos like this planned for the future, featuring more Blood Realm characters, so stay tuned. You can learn more about Lord Cyphus and the lands of Mordron 
in my comic series Blood Realm, currently published by Alterna Comics and available at your local comic shop. You can also find prints and original art, including this piece here on my website, robertgeronimo.com. Links are in the description box. Thank you for watching.